Hey what's up, so I want to fill you in on how things are going for me in terms of polyphasic sleep and I'll keep it as short and concise as I can. So we left off before Christmas, I was going on holiday and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to stick to the schedule so I figured I'd just leave it and we'll pick up from where I left off when I get back and it never happened, I found it really difficult to get back into it and I've pretty much turned my back on the traditional everyman schedules and Dymaxion and all of that but not completely. I really like waking up in the middle of the night and being able to be creative and not having any distractions and I read an article about how before we had the electronic light bulb, we all, used, we all used to wake up in the middle of the night. We'd have sex, we'd pray, meditate, and it wasn't until the light bulb came along and that just went. We used to have a first sleep and a second sleep. They know that the brain is secreting more melatonin and prolactin in the middle of the night and that lends itself to contemplation, reflection, pontificating and that explains why I found myself in this kind of a dreamy, reflective frame of mind. I would get up from the desk to rotate my hips and stretch and whatnot and I'd just lean up against the wall and be looking out the window and I got a lot out of that. So I'm gonna commit here on video to the whole wide world more like about 10 of you who are watching this. I'm going to commit this year I will wake up as long as I'm at home. When I'm away from home, it's a different ball game. If I'm at home in this house, I will wake up for segmented sleep and I will do my creative work. I'm going to draw on the book by Scott Pressfields, is it? Turning Pro and the War of Art. I'm going to commit to my work for as long as I'm in this house. Okay, let's go crazy. I'm going to do that. When I take my second sleep, I'm going to sleep for as long as I want. But I most probably won't sleep longer than two hours because I feel really groggy. Depending on how I feel, if I feel good, I'll take a half an hour nap. Then I'm going to move my body. Whether I go to the gym or I do yoga here, I'm going to move my body. I'm going to do qigong for at least five minutes. I'm gonna hopefully do more than that, obviously, but if I keep it small, I know that it's a no-brainer. Yeah, I, can, I can do five minutes, of course I can do five minutes. You do five minutes, you wanna do more. So I'm gonna to commit to at least five minutes of Qigong. Morning and night, I'm going nuts here. Morning and night, Qigong for at least five minutes. I know that I can do that for as long as I'm here in this house. And I'm gonna move my body. Whether I do yoga or whether I go to the gym, I will do something. What am I going to eat? I'm going to eat something light, nuts, seeds, fruit, smoothies, rye bread, plenty of water, and that's pretty much it of what I'm going to commit to on this video. So yes, you can get really excited about polyphasic sleep and that can push you through, you can endure it, but I found that eventually you just end up getting exhausted. Will that change when I'm doing Qigong twice a day? Maybe, we'll see. But I'm just gonna commit to my work, waking up in the middle of the night after a three to a four hour core. I'll do my videos, my work, my creative stuff for as long as I can and then take my second sleep. That was pretty much it. It was just to fill you in and I'm really excited for the results that this is gonna get. Oh, and I'm also gonna commit to, while I do my work, I will make a video for YouTube of some sort. Whether I upload it here or I decide to talk about a completely other topic because I may have to do that. I might run out of things to say. I'm not expecting any of you to watch this. I'll, I'll keep the videos under six minutes though. But I'm gonna make a YouTube video every day and upload it, whether I do it with this camera or my iPhone. I'm gonna leave it there. I, I promise not to do like really long videos and you can't keep up. I'll do my best to keep them between four and five minutes. Catch you later, peace.